find here. No time to slow. They must be making a move. Catches one. There is the teleport back safely into U-Haul. Looking like a great start so far for Cloud9. Another oh, yeah. catch from Mitch. Lovely stuff. Really making excess life very difficult indeed. And it's just getting worse at the moment. Spike now down on the ground. And Cloud9 players are rotating. However... Excess starting to win some of the battles here. Giving themselves opportunity for the plant. This is very important 1v1. Zephyr picks that one up. The pressure immediately onto BCJ is concussed and will go down. And that will be the round. Mitch has been such a powerful tool so far on this chamber. And Biney goes forward and gets punished by Cro Exet. There's that paint shot at the backside. It's going to allow a lot of space here for these entries. But Zephyr's still holding on somehow with this Spectre. I don't know for how much longer he can do so. Zekin comes through, but enough time was bought to get Leaf the fight. And the trade comes through as well. Oh, Making no, life yeah. really difficult. And the catch there onto death was lurking in U-Haul at the same time. So the backup play is not going to work out. And the spike, it has to make its way up. Be long here. It's got to run. It's got to sprint to the site and plant immediately. And it is safe right now. But couple players in Hugo could certainly make life difficult. And I see with that angle. Can't deny it on the way across. And as they make their way down, Aaron had to hold that one. But they, he couldn't do it. And that leaves it on to BCJ. So another round to Cloud9. They've done a great job of getting hookah control, breaking that signature from the chamber in there, and death finding Mitch is going to peel or rotate. Look at this, and they've gotten in U-Haul with the Viper Wall. This is a great round for Exit. And this is just after the Cloud9 just cleared U-Haul as well. It's really working out finally for Exit, and they are in a 5 versus 3 cryo. Fantastic angle there against Fantasy. Not much you can do about that one. And at this point, it's a 2v5 retake for the remainder of Cloud9, and we've seen Exit sort of Focusing towards B long at the start of the rounds with three. Signature by by U-Haul could be big here. As the showstopper coming through, all oh, gets caught, slowed down just slightly by that gravity well. We'll see what he can find though. Zekin does nail Zeppa with that one. But in comes the Hunter's Fury in response from Cloud9 to try to slow things down. But Exet doing a fantastic job here. They get the spike planted, but Mitch in a good position. They're able to just peel away one more player. Naren. Perhaps feeling like needs to make a play here, but we'll be against three at this point, so it starts to become quite difficult. The element of surprise is all that Aaron really has, if he can find a good timing. That's the swing. Unfortunately, won't work out in his favor. Cloud9 with another round here, Sean. That's going to be caught here for C9, but they have space at the backside to get through. Leaf drops the Vipers. This is actually <laughs> wild. Elbow occupied right now by Exet, and that seems to be all they need. Vanity with a judge, though, in the Viper's Pit. It's the perfect gun for this job. Looking to go close, able to take down Aaron. That's one of the Viper's Pit going down. And now, can they find a way to get the DPs going here? Forcing the issue right behind the Cosmic Divide. Can Vanity stick it all the way? Absolutely not. The Recon comes in and gets a ping down. The grab well is going to get Sova. The Shock Dart one hits him. Oh, beautiful synergy there with that utility at the back of the site. And that will certainly provide the opening that was needed and here. There's one player on, a couple players on the site. And as he's dealing with one, this is going to start to get quite difficult for Exet. The toxic screen really cutting off that garden position as well. We in with that judge. The range is just simply not optimal. And Exet will hold on. Is actually trying to make it a play here with Zeppa. Have that hookah control secured. They've lost garden control, but they can hold on to that hookah control and apply a lot of pressure on the retake. If the site even goes to exit at this point, Cryo trying to make it happen with the knives, able to take down one, though the site is still held here. We've got Mitch on B with off of the TP and really showing mass economic damage in. The money's very, very low for Cloud9, so every kill could hurt. Goes second, sending the showstopper two showers, but doesn't find anything. Mitch going down in the 1v1, Cryo doing a great job on these entries. However, Leaf. We'll be looking to delay here with that snake bite doing some extra damage. However, Exet able to fall back and away after getting that plant, but they haven't got a lot of post plant space to work with. It's U Haul and Short, that's all that they have right now. And the luck is coming. We have Zeppa moving his way from market and the Cosmic Divide this coming through divide. as well. The Cosmic Divide blocks U Haul and Short A. This is a brilliant divide by Vanity. Oh, and now this really starts to starts to sing here for Cloud9. Zephyr picking up that one frag, forcing Cryo not to be able to help his teammates on the front, but has to go to the back, splitting up this the, the defenders of the spike. And now Cloud9 is all on this last engagement, and Leaf knocks it out of the park. Fantastic work from them. A quad kill, and is there time? It might just be full, barely enough time. Made them rethink some things. Oh no, Zephyr pulls out the show. 
Ditch TP right into Cryo, and Cryo's aware. That allow him to get, you know, free snake bites for delay. There's only 30 seconds left to go. And with that said, though, X said, I'll picking up the kills here. And if they can continue to do that, maybe Leaf's play will not be too problematic after all. Cryo taking another head there. Leaf still causing problems. Finally goes down. And Vanity in a one versus three. There, there is plenty of time to get the plant. They actually go back to the B site. This might actually end up helping Vanity more than hindering oh, no. him. It gives him an opportunity here. Oh, needed to get that headshot. I'm sure of it here as he'll be up against a double peak and that's not softened up. You see that Cloud9 is, is favoring just falling back and trying to retake together. They've got that U-Haul control. This will be the seat of the retake. They've got to keep this under control. Oh, that is beautiful. The vulnerable on three of them is massively helpful. And now it's just Vanity left in the 1v3 as the rest of Exet are on the site holding the angle. Vanity, what on earth is he going to be able to do here? There goes a gravity well to try to make life difficult for them. Pulling one off the spike, trying to suggest he's pushing, trying to isolate the fights, but it's so hard he has to go for it. Times against him. And Exet are going to pick it up because they can keep... Some players towards this B site. And Def actually going for the retake straight into Hooker there. Oh, pulling out the gun. Does manage to keep himself Whoa. alive though. And it looks like there were some opportunities for Cloud9, but Xset, they're gonna actually get the prime game. For Cryo coming up. He's not even gonna get a shot. Oh, that was it. Oh. Was just for the kill. They didn't even go for the plant. It was never even in their mind. But now they're running out of time. They're running out of space. Reef needs this kill. Oh, and he will just be able to barely get it. 15 seconds to go. The spike now is planting. The retake. And then what second is. Looking for the moment to go. And there's the tap. There's the pressure. That's going to force some peaks. Force some fights here. But Cloudline trying to delay here. Trying not to give the game away. And Exet are just going to commit into every kill. And pick them. So many ults to work with. And there's Cryo. one, BCJ, taking out Zephyr's Aaron. Do we just ult you all? And now we've got Leaf just playing in the Viper's fighting. pit on the site, and it's just becoming very problematic. All this space having to be given up on the site, except that Viper's pit. Aaron in the last Bastion. Old. Does Leaf have his own pit? Well, Leaf will go no. and just challenge Aaron just directly, and it's not going to pan out. Def, this, this was just cleared by a drone, which is why Def gets that free kill there. And Vanity getting stuck by the gravity well. Couldn't really all be all that much worse. Ooh. Nails the shot, though. And second, around the corner, we'll finish it off. And that's base. They may figure this one out. Yeah, look, Cryo gets pushed off of long, so how does Exet respond with a short push? Ab Spike's going down. Showstopper pulled out. Gets sent through the spawn. I don't think it caught anything. Disagree with a catch there. A couple catches possibly. I'm not sure if anyone will get finished off. Zeta is going to go and take out that uh, BCJ, the opposing Sova. So, and they realize that the spike is is like it's all over the place right now. This is so confusing. It makes its way through the TP back towards Uka. 15 seconds to go, but it can't rotate again. And Vanity's got to win these battles, trying to obscure himself, but they're not going to peek him until it's absolutely necessary. The bait and switch. Oh, man, I think. <laughs> I, I honestly feel like Vanity might have recognized what I was saying. Their hits felt one-dimensional. So what do they try to do? They try to spread out, but you could see what happened. It was hyperwall. Second with that early defense against Leaf, and in goes Zeppa to respond with the showstopper. Oh, Cryo no way. takes him down before the rocket can get let loose. And that's a problem, Mitch. Taking the position with the judge. Might have to try to make a play there, but the ranges might not be favorable. And as he's trying to hold things down for the. Ooh. Let's be aggression from oh. X. That's big. Oh, catches oh, the spike no. as well. They're stalling out right now, and they're just fighting tooth and nail to get this spike down. Yeah, this screen isolates fights and enter for the defenders in such a positive way. They can all swing out the back wall, and it's looking really difficult to deal with Zephyr with the classic trying to find some value, but. This aggression ain't stopping. Oh, the flash though. I think they just flashed themselves. And that's a 3k coming through from Zeta as a result of that. And it looks like Cry is not long for this world. And Sean, <laughs> they protected him. Although he will get spotted, it seems. Leaf unable to do anything with that one. Zeta with the Hunter's Fury will. Oh, sorry, with. Spike planted. And if he has two snake bites. It's a good clearance though, Zeppa. 
Oh, there's a big rotation from Zelda around the mid doors. Vanity just has to buy time for Zeta to come through the mid doors. Has to keep jiggling, peeking, using the snake bite. In comes Zeta, trying to do what he can, trying to find them as they try to defuse this, but it's not going to be in time. They could, they know everything. With that luck, he's going to open the door though. Oh, leave us missed! Yeah, and those whiffs, that, that is an opportunity there for Xset. Cloud9 just somehow able to sneak their way onto position here. Leave a good headshot onto Cryo. They've got, again, Mitch in this position. They know that he's there. He's got the trip as well. He might try to force them to try to play close to the trip. And that's a beautiful... Have a Sentinel. You know, they're not getting a lot of info and... There, as well as the, the defensive top Ekman of this Viper's pit as well. Players could be lurking all over the place. Mitch playing in front of everything. Oh, able to find a couple with the help of his teammates. In fact, Cloud9 winning all of the gun battles. So it doesn't even get to the Viper's pit. And... Oh, <laughs> he's going to get in the sight. No will come out from second. He's going to keep that pressure as he moves forward towards spawn, trying to make as much noise as possible. And C9 are just trying to breach these mid positions, but the defense so far is handling this quite nicely. Except that the setup's likely towards B. They're trying to get an advantage on the rotation, but they have to make the cross. Can they get the kills as they run across? And so far, so good. Couple kills on the entry for C9, giving them the man advantage. Four versus three. Spike going down in the nick of time. Four position from Mitch is huge. Takes down Cryo. Oh, such a fantastic hold from Mitch. Doing it all from the front lines on Cypher. And now wrapping around the side to finish off Aaron. The quad kill frustrably to try to break up this push. But they are going to make their way through largely. There are the challenges coming in from Xset on the defense. But they're going to have to retract because they've lost the sight. Now Mitch on that lurk. And he's got a free one out of elbow. And C9 oh. are hitting every shot right now. Neural theft coming in to make matters worse. Oh, well, oh! <laughs> the judge is going <laughs> to win that one, but... Leaf looking to find his way in here. Oh, causing lots of problems. Doesn't actually get delay them from getting in. That can still in a forward position with the marshal. By um, uh, planting of the spike on the site. And the Viper's pick comes through. So that's going to make life really tough now. But the ult here from BCJ could save them. The frag on Zeppa. Oh, that's big by Vanity. The pit stays up. Cry straight in there. That's going to drop the pit. Is that a, not a lot to work with here? Three players to go. Has to pick the perfect timings. Death will take him down, though. And that's a much needed round here for Xset. That's going to be five. We take a set up here. You don't want to lose Vanity. The defensive Viper, you want that Viper wall to do its work. Vanity's still staying alive at the back of the site, looking to get some extra time here to allow his teammates to come in to help him out. But, oh, Zeta actually picking up one through the smoke, getting some pings as well. Good information here to allow the retake to be more successful. The spike is not yet down. Huge issue here for Xset. They are pushed to the back. Which is why Xset, you know, they immediately disrespect the wall. They do the wall goes up. That actually helps C9. Uh, get closer to these fights and actually a couple kills going their way to even up the numbers and in fact now all the remaining except players stuck behind this cave choke point death able to take down one and that pressure's coming through it's a very open plant here so they just have to win the battles they have as you said the gun advantages in these fights and that's going to be the difference comes in well he's gonna have to fall back oh no oh that's a really big problem what oh that's gonna slow everything down here taking down second and they're sitting on him, of course. There's like nothing that they can do. They're just stuck in one line on the choke point. And also is difficult. And Leaf is just waiting in spawn. He's, he's waiting for the perfect moment to initiate the lurk. Oh. Exit. They breach. That's going to look pretty good for them to get the spike planted. But again, Leaf will be activated now. Coming through, he should be able to deny this plant from going down. And there it is. The wall just protecting it. How do you deal with this? You, you have opponents on both sides. Yes, I had to hit the shots though. That makes all the difference. Leaf. That late lurk. Able to get some value. But now he needs to find two players. And they're not going to be peeking him anytime soon. It's going to force them this out. Oh, stand. you're totally right. He's getting burned though. He's going to get it half at least. He's sitting in the snake bites. Taking so much damage. He's vulnerable. Any single bullet will, take, will do it here. Against Leaf. As he tries to hold this position. On this jet. In the cloudburst. Another tap comes through. Zekin's crept down without his assistance here. Because the spike needs to get planted. They're committing onto the side. There's not a lot of time to go for this one. We've got players from Cloudline very close to this. Trying to deny the plant if they possibly can. It is... But now it resets. Four versus three advantage here for Cloud9 on the retake. Just taking things slow and measured. Oh, great shot from Aaron taking down one, but Leaf does him one better. 
The one-upmanship is really crazy right now as Cloud9 are looking good for this, sticking it, Mitch. Oh. I don't know that they can stop no. this. The shock dart doesn't land the mark, and BCJ tries to spray, but it's going to be a defuse there for Cloud9. 11-7 to as they secure. But it doesn't matter right now. The B push comes through. Mitch in the back with the judge doing the damage. Second going down. Oh, oh my god! Three. three on one on this theory. You have to be joking. Yeah, I, I don't think he's making it out. Oh my god, that was fast. Uh, he can't make it out of this. There's no <laughs> shot. But Jesus, he is good. He, I, think, I think they all hit that snake bite right there. That Vanny threw. All yes. double damage, all single hit. That's actually... There comes the no command to see if they can work their way through, but sadly, it is not working out too well at the moment. Three kills going the way of Cloud9 on the defense immediately. Wipers pick comes on down to try to buy some space towards the site for the spike plant, but in goes Vanity to just oh. play spoiler to this one. Takes down the Vipers piss box. And we get the push coming through, as you say. Is that going to be able to peel away one at the beginning? So that's the, that's the jet gone. Leaf out of the picture. Spike planted, as you can see that the defense retracts. And it is actually going to be, oh, as a oh. silly duck. But it's going to work out for Mitch. It's going to work out for C9. A couple more kills coming through on back site, leaving just Death and BCJ to try to recover this one. Definitely quite doable in these pistols, BCJ. So with the shock dart as well, 10 seconds from the recon. So options here with the utility, some time as well. And not entirely sure exactly where these players are playing the post plant positions. BCJ might just try to stick this at least halfway. Oh, oh he's going for the full stick. He's going for the full. The he's got it. Oh, no. So scared for exit right now. They are way out of position. He's in the deepest of positions, and he's not even dropping any trademarks. Nothing that could possibly give the game away that he's in a forward position. And he's just found the free one. That is a huge kill to get. Great call out on Mitch's lurk there. And these options are really, really going to start creating problems here for exit as they try to swing back through. But they have to worry about these two positions. Finally, Mitch gets dealt with. That does make life a little bit easier. You just have to worry about... Oh, well, I was going to say, you just have to worry oh, about one position. No. But Leaf comes in from the back now. And they have to look in so many locations at once. And it's just on death. And just look at Leaf just playing, just toying with death, trying to buy more time. Rendezvous is put forward there to give death some more options, options as Headhunter presses its way forward. Oh, great shot. There's a one death! He's looking good for it. Oh, and no, come on, comes down. Nice pick up there from Cryo. At the same time, just like you said, Mitch, with that massive lurk through Kitchen, can actually backstab. And that's exactly what he's doing. Able to take down Zekin. That is a big kill to get. And it's a lot of presence on the flank, which is a problem. And we still have... Right now, Def's just sitting around B long. He's just completely out of the action at the moment. And Mitch is going to get the catch. He hears the running. Mitch, oh, doesn't win the battle, but Mitch on the on the chamber have been just instrumental in winning some of these rounds. And now they're slowing things down. I was about to say, you're going to look ask questions of mid, and that is exactly where the Tour de Force is, just ready to go. I think we've all been there where we accidentally right click, we, we shoot, and then we're just like, well, might as well just int for info. I think that's just what happened to <laughs> oh. PCJ. Oh. Yeah, but you've lost your Viper yeah. now. It's a great opening pick. Death doing a lot of work here. Yeah, he could really turn this on its head. Oh, the paint shot's coming in. That's a very damaging opening here oh. from exit on the way back in. And the spike's down, but ground has been lost. The Viper's wall is, is there. It's ready to go for the defenders to retake this site. Ryo with this AWP holding the peak. How is Zeppa going to get this off? Oh, Ooh. that was an opportunity there for Cryo. And Zekin has to do it all, but a Cryo now, unfortunately. No way, it's not happening again. Gets it half, but C9 will close the distance. And Asher towards B long. Cryo on the other end of things. Unable to connect the shot. In fact, sorry, he does connect the shot onto Zeta. Leaf answering back in mid to the mid aggression. It's gone. It's gone, yeah. So now. Exit has to be aware of all these angles. And Leaf comes up big. That opens things up for Zeppa, and the B site's lost. Working the map to perfection right now. And Exit, they, they, they had a 4v3 advantage, but again, they've been outplayed on the on these rotations on the map. And Aaron in a 1 versus 3. And they have a good sense of where he is, and they are so spread out right now. That's the third one. Three right here, he's casting blind shots into the site. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Is running and gunning, totally blinded, takes down Aaron. And they exchange the on the site, but they're going to run straight back. They know the rotation's fully through towards B, or they have a good bet on that. And there's the option to also go back to B again, Sean, after the presence is shown. And Zekin's going to look to cut this one off, and he's going to have an angle. Takes down Zeta. Now they are absolutely committed into the A site. It's on Leaf, has to do damage, gets nothing. And now we've, we've praised Mitch multiple times on this chain, but he's got 30 seconds 30 to find seconds. a way to win this round. And that's just not going to... They're going a lot faster this time. The flash goes out straight away to block any early aggression from the defenders. But Exit actually come away with the opening kills here as they defend very well. And they also get the pickup in mid. So That's this alert. is desperate defense here on Exit's half. Damn. And I think they're trying to get Vanity to use his ult out of this poison orb, but that might make Vanity die. Yeah, I don't think Vanity's going to use his ult this round. Cryo's picking them apart. A prime gaming, flawless for X. And Tron comes through, gets taken down. And Zekin, that's a very coming through from him. And that will allow a plant. Although you have to wait out some of that utility. We see the paint shots coming through. And Zekin actually pops the rocket. And that showstopper finds his mark. Yeah, and that's wild that is... death. Wild death on Mitch in mid, Dan. This round is all but over for Cloud9. Vandy needs to make some magic happen. It's not going to happen. Yeah, it's, there's nothing left here. Zeta on 1 HP, taken out by the triple peak. And that was... Oh, Dan. Look at this setup. Oh, oh no! He's that can drops through. Doesn't get anything from that. Setup for C9. They have it as they want it to defend this site effectively. Forward positions. There's the rendezvous from Mitch to get him out of that spot after picking up the kill. So, five versus three after plant. C9 and yeah. Zephyr just popping. The knock yeah, the... makes it worse. It's crazy, because it's definitely when Cloud9 wants, but now we're in a 3-on-3, three three, Dan. The Null Command's down. The wall is up. And they have to keep pre pressing the issue here. They're starting to really make life difficult. Leaf has to come in to save the day. BCJ's going to go for the full sticker. He thinks he's safe, but in comes Leaf around the corner. The trade comes through. I think he got it half. I don't think they can stop this. The spray comes through from Vanity, but it is not found in time. <gasps> That's dropping out. This is very delicate stuff, and Mitch will be the first to fall there as the effort towards that B split is announced. And Exet looking really good right now. Looking to tie this up 6 6 as we play out the final round of the first half. And the Lurk coming up through the kitchen is going to be running into that trademark. Still, though, Vanity gets the kill anyway. Cryo in this forward position, wrapping around yellow. And add insult to injury, gets one onto Zeppa. And the fourth doesn't find oh. his mark. And suddenly, Zeta has a chance in the 1v2. Hunter's Fury. He has Hunter's Fury as well. This frag is everything. We know. Oh. Does he know where Aaron is? Oh, the timing, though, for both players. He's sneaking beyond both players. I this cannot believe play. it. Oh my gosh. He has managed to lurk his way into this spot. This is an excellent position, but now he's been spotted. Oh, oh he knows exactly where the Viper Spit's coming from, though. They are both on the same side. Can Zeta still find a way to do this one? They come for the duel and he gets Aaron, but it's not enough. BCJ picks up the kill. I'm, I am not sure either, but he is looking for a lurk, possibly. Oh, I don't think he spotted it. He did oh! not spot And Cloud9 is just playing off of the signature on the A site. They just have the nerd set up completely. Mystery happening on the A site right now. And they have such a big numbers advantage, but the utility is doing massive oh. damage. And suddenly, Exet not in too bad of a spot here as they are look to try to secure this one. Oh, nice drop and shot from Zeta. Now things slow down a little bit. Two players player left. Now just down to, to Zeta. Seeing what he can do here. The pain shells will be very annoying, but not even going to come down to that position. For both teams, effectively, oh the fight over mid. And it's going to be Mitch to get the opening pick. Seen, actually. Mitch has a very shallow angle. Now they spotted at the last second. Cryo able to transfer away to Mitch. They're for holding back sight, delaying things with a frag grenade. Getting this fight planted right now doesn't really feel possible. And you can see that, in fact, they're going to respect that. Fall out of the sight. They do have a mid luck in Aaron. But that if you notice, then Aaron hasn't been as. Oh, the timing! Wow, Aaron hit a god tier timing just, on Vanity and opened things up completely. And the spike's going back. It's going all the way back. They just saw the server on the site as well. So this is extremely confusing. Are they going back for the A hit? Are they going back to B? Really, anything is possible. And Death is going to plant on the B site. And Aaron has oh, 7 Aaron. HP. Oh, Again, perfect timing. 
It's looking so good. He hears everything. He just has to get the info. That's all he needs to do. You know, he can call one snowman. Now he lurks back through at a perfect timing. Aaron is just galaxy braining this with the timings. He's going to spot one. Beautiful oh finish. And Leaf, and it's just, what does he do? He can't do anything. And Xek clinched the round. I'm just going to let Leaf play in this. Oh, play early. Yeah, not even the post plant spot. It's the spots you can guard the person planting the spike. There's nowhere to guard the planter, but they get it off. It doesn't matter that we're in a two on five. Yeah, they, at the cost of losing a player. And look at this retake utility. Look at this toxic screen oh. that is just providing all the space for the defenders to try to retake this death in a one versus three. It's not happening. And Cloud9. So the rotate, it pulls the <laughs> Sova over here. Zeta now has the drone out kick. So that he's safe against any flashes that could come through, but there actually aren't any. So look at the drop in from Zephyr back site. We've got no commands. Mitch still working the top screen position. Right now, Exet, they are not able to get in the site. Aaron has a judge, so no play ready at some of these ranges. And there's Def gone. That's the only rifle. And now it's up to the judge on Aaron. And maybe Aaron can tease out a kill here, but that might be the best outcome that he could possibly hope for. And it's not going to happen. If wow. Prime Gaming for He spotted it. I don't know if he's seen both players, but... The trademark is being shot out as well. And at the same time, pressure's coming through on the other side. And the Viper's pit in the corner. Zekin's got a good timing to assist this. Oh, and the paint shots are going to go out. That's going to create huge problems. That's going to... Whoa! The pit drops. And there it is. We've got a lot of frags coming through now in favor of Exet. Leaving just Leaf with the Operator. It's not a good look. Can Leaf get any value out of this? He wants to try to escape with the Operator. At least the dash comes in to try to punish his escape. Leaf pulls out the pistol. And there goes the Cloud Burst. Just barely scraping by. Can he survive somehow? Yes. Oh, Actually. Oh, my oh but here comes BTJ. Oh, Leaf no! finds him. Down on B. Right as the push comes in to, onto A. Not the best timing there, unfortunately, there for C9. But we'll see what they can do on the defense of this A site. Leaf holding an aggressive line, actually, backside. Holding on this backside position will make life a lot more difficult for Xset. It allows C9 to come through onto the retake and to challenge the spike going down. And if they can't get the spike down, that's going to just end the round. They've got to find a way to plant the spike. It's coming through. In goes Leaf. He knows there might be a chance. There's an opportunity. Have to, they have to get off the site now. And they are just falling. They, they have to take these challenges. And they are not favorable. Cloudliner all over this one. Cryo. Oh my god. What? Cryo takes down three. But still Zeppa is there in the nick of time to prevent what would have been a mammoth clutch in HP. Oh my goodness. And there comes the showstopper. E uh, Zekin was waiting, biding his time for the perfect moment. And finally, they're able to unleash after that previous utility slowed things down. Zephyr with the spam there. Able to find death. And that's going to be the spike now on the ground. Oh, no. 20 seconds to get it planted as Aaron tries to work his way around to assist BCJ. But BCJ on 3 HP and just stuck here. And he's going to be able to find a drop onto Zeta, but he doesn't find Oh, it's like one of those weird, like, clown gifts that I see on my Twitter feed. Just, you know, <laughs> BCJ going up, someone on Cloud9 going down, and, you know, it's just so unfortunate. The timing that round for Exit, everything going Cloud9's way when this... On the Bulldog as well, that's... Like, oh, it's a freebie. Cry takes down one, he surely knows there's more players, but doesn't want to just overstep things here. And try to They'll never the expect rotation. a third. They'll never expect Zephyr here, Dan. They might big too. Cryo just has to time it perfectly. And oh, the flick comes in and Zeta's just nailed. Cryo, that's unfortunate there for Exit, but still opportunity. Two versus two as they get the spike planted. The shock dart's going to do a lick of damage there onto BCJ. Down to half. Zephyr working his way in the flank. Well, they expect this. Timings is so huge on this one. BCJ, BCJ uh, working his way back, and now they Ooh, know Zeta doesn't whipped. find it. There comes the knife to try to slow things down. The pop flash, buying time for Zeta to work his way forwards, and Zeta takes down BCJ, and now they can work together. Cloud9 looking for the victory here. Zekin, it's all on Zekin. The flick has to be good, but it's there for Zeppa, and Cloud9 will get the D.